Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Arsenal won the FA Cup yesterday after defeating Liverpool in a penalty shootout. It was a masterclass performance by Arsenal who managed to hold the Premier League champions to a 1-1 stalemate and then went on to win the penalty shootout. Mikel Arteta has won two trophies in 29 days while Spurs have only won two trophies in 29 years. Arteta has achieved a lot with this club in just a short period of time and I'm excited to see the rivalry between Chelsea and Arsenal and United next season all managed by ex players United by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer Chelsea by Lampard and Arteta manages Arsenal so it will be an interesting competition next season and let's hope that it's an exciting one too now let's move on to the transfer updates Arteta has said that Aubameyang will stay at Arsenal at any cost. He will sign a new contract very soon and he's very happy after winning the FA Cup and Community Shield and adding to his collection of trophies. It has also been reported that Rob Holding will go to Newcastle and Newcastle have secured the signing of Holding. He will sign for the Magpies very soon who have beaten some other clubs to the signing of the player. It's a good deal for both the player and the club as the player gets some game time and Arsenal save on wage budget. It is believed that Arsenal are close to the signing of the Lyon centre midfielder Hussein Aouba. Arsenal will have to pay Lyon in the region of 50 million euros to secure the signing of the talented Frenchman. He was supposed to go out with the French national team in the friendlies but has tested positive for the virus. He has not shown any symptoms and is currently resting at his home quarantined. He should be back on the field in a few weeks and Arsenal would love to sign him. Arteta wants him at the club and thinks that Aouar will solve his midfield problems and make Arsenal's midfield quite strong. Speaking of midfielders, Arsenal also believe that they are close to signing Thomas Partey from Atletico Madrid. Atletico have already agreed to sell the player to Arsenal and only the personal contract details remain. Things have been at a stalemate for quite some time, but it looks like Arsenal will secure the signing of the midfielder. Arteta wanted to give Guendouzi another chance at the club, but it looks like he will be sold to get transfer funds for Aouar and Partey. Arteta was not happy with Guendouzi last season because of his conduct on and off the pitch. Guendouzi was quite aggressive on the pitch and had some unnecessary fights and some unnecessary cards which did not help the team in losing situations. They lost to Brighton and that was the last nail in the coffin from which Arteta was convinced that he had to sell Guendouzi. Nothing is confirmed yet but it certainly looks like Guendouzi will make way for Aouar and Partey at the club. Gabriel Magalhaes is very very close to being announced as an Arsenal player. As we told you earlier, he has already signed for Arsenal and that is a done deal. Only the official announcement remains and we can expect that very very soon. Maybe in the next 3-4 days or even in the next 2 days. It's up to Arsenal now when they announce him as they have already paid Lille 22 million euros and gave Magalhaes a 5 year contract. Don't worry Arsenal fans he will be announced very soon just wait for some time and your anxiety will be over last but not the least Arsenal want to sell Emiliano Martinez the Argentine goalkeeper who has been a backup for Leno and has played wonderfully in his absence they have also received a couple of offers from Aston Villa and Leeds United in the region of 10 million euros and are willing to sell Martinez at that price. They want to sell him and buy a new and younger keeper in backup for Leno who can improve and grow at the club. That's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching and congratulations to all Arsenal fans for the Community Shield and the FA Cup. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest football transfers, news and match analysis. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.